DR1900 performs four diagnostic checks when powered on to ensure the functionality and performance of the instrument. The checks include a system test, lamp test, voltage test, and wavelength calibration check. Once the tests are completed and passed, the instrument proceeds to the measurement screen. The last stored program used will be displayed. The DR1900 uses a keypad with icons and functionality that is consistent across several Hawk instrument platforms. The wrench key provides settings for selecting programs, setup options, and data management. The backlight key is used for illuminating the display on or off. The home key allows the user to progress to the main reading screen from the last measurement. The left key is a soft key that allows selection of options, cancels or exits a function, or moves to a previous screen. The right key is a soft key for reading a sample, selects or confirms an option, or up opens a submenu. The navigation keys scroll through menus and enters numbers or letters. The wrench key enters the settings menu. This software settings menu allows the, for the following instrument control, such as selecting favorite programs, user programs, or Hawk stored programs, and photometer functions that allow the spectrophotometer to measure in single, multi-wavelength, or in time course mode. A setting to create a workflow which allows a sequence of tests to be performed using the same sample ID and operator ID. A data management setting for the recall, sending, printing, or deleting of data files. A setup menu allowing for the settings for the correct date and time, display and sound features, security and password settings, and language settings. This menu also provides a quick view of the instrument information such as a serial number, software version, and memory used. The setup menu also provides the option of performing system checks on the instrument's optics. The DR1900 software is easy to navigate and to find the correct stored program. Stored programs are all located using the wrench key and selecting all programs methods from the list. The menu then splits into either stored programs or LCK or TNT plus methods. After selecting stored programs, in methods, the full list of parameter and method numbers are visible. The DR1900 has 220 stored programs, therefore navigation of the list can be simplified by selecting the following navigation keys. Right and left arrow keys scroll by page. Using the options key allows for the stored program to be selected by numbers or letters. Programs that are accessed often can be added to the favorites list for easy use in the future. In this example, we'll show the selection of program 80 entered by number. Once the correct program is entered, then select that program by hitting the key under Start. Once in a program, the Options menu will allow access to the following menus. A timer function, entering in operator or sample ID, making a measurement as a percent transmittance or absorbance value, and other advanced options. The Advanced Options menu provides the ability to manipulate the measurement results in a number of ways. The Standard Adjust setting is used to adjust the results based on the measurement of a known standard solution of known concentration. Using the Reagent Blank option automatically subtracts the color due to the reagents determined by testing deionized water from subsequent samples measured. The dilution factor setting can be used if the sample was dilu diluted to lower its concentration to fit within the concentration range of the program. This calculated dilution factor can be entered into the DR1900 and subsequent measurements will then be multiplied by that entered factor. The chemical form setting allows the alternate chemical form to be selected and displayed. An example of a chemical form change is from phosphate PO4 converted to phosphate as phosphorus or PO4-P. The standard addition setting examines the reading accuracy by spiking the sample with a known standard. Refer to the program's method written procedure for more information on this setting. The DR1900 displays the same measurement information as the DR3900 and DR6000 spectrophotometers. Information includes program number and parameter, wavelength, 
and power source, the measurement value, concentration and units, the sample ID and operator ID, and date and time. The control par feature on the right hand of the display, this feature displays where this measurement resided within the total concentration range of the program. This slide depicts all the icons that can be displayed during a measurement in all the features of the DR1900 software. Besides the measurement information previously discussed, there are additional software features that make the DR1900 so versatile and suitable for multiple applications. The DR1900 has a timer function that is saved for those programs that require a specific time for reaction. Using the Advanced Options menu, a standard Adjust, Reagent Blank, Chemical Form, or Dilution Factor can be entered. The icons are displayed on the measurement screen during the measurement and in the data file for easy recognition. The progress bar provides easy recognition of when the method and measurement is complete and results can be recorded. The DR1900 is received pre-programmed. However, the software allows for 50 user entered programs and methods, including 12 data points, linear or piecewise curve fit. Entering in a user program is simplified as the software walks you through each step. Starting with a program name, concentration units, wavelength selection between 340 and 800 nanometers, resolution, and chemical form. The formula can either be entered or calculated based on analyzing primary standard solutions of varying concentration and entering in the absorbance values. Upper and lower limits and timers are also available in the software and can be entered.